we are at Disney's Animal Kingdom on a scorching hot June. What is this? June 7th? Um, I don't know. I think it is. June 7th. I'm not too good with the dates. By the time you guys see this, it will be a couple days after that. But it is a hot Saturday here in the Animal Kingdom parking lot. Say hi. <laughs> good wave. So I want to come in. See if we can get on the safari real quick. It's not gonna be quick at all. We'll be waiting at least an hour to get inside there, but at least we will be undercover. Hopefully we can see the lions. Hopefully we can see the gorilla. He didn't get to see them the last time he was here. But he got to see the lion once. We've been here before with him. I'm gonna try to hit Pandora. He hasn't been over there yet. And uh, see what other kind of action we can get into before the sun gets really, really high up in the air there and uh, we get out of here. I apologize if the camera's shaky when I'm holding it because I'm not used to holding this camera and it's kind of heavy, so sorry about that. Part of the gig. Is that a flower? Is that a flower, pal? So pretty. Go figure. We didn't even have to buy annual passes. We could have just sat out next to the parking lot over there. Go hold hands. One, two, three, jump. Oh, tight rope walking. Good jump. Oh, it is hot out here today. Where's the elephant? Point. Yeah. I looked down when you said it and I was like, I couldn't have been here. Anymore. I didn't even realize. So Rob either. got in trouble. I'm surprised they even saw it. Does it say it across the whole front? It says it all over it. Oh. It's pornography <laughs> on my shirt, so yeah. Not, not an appropriate shirt to wear it to a family. I forgot I had it on. Sometimes I don't, I don't realize what I'm wearing. A lot of my shirts are like that as some people have seen so that's actually the first time I've been told to turn my shirt inside out but it is fucking awesome that's what that means but yeah that's the first time but they were cool about it I still have he wants you there's still a tag on the back of my shirt yeah that still says it the tag still says it <laughs> his arm will probably cover it up most of the day but she was cool about it you know like that was all right so Let's go. We gotta get to the safari. Yeah. 55 minute wait. Yep. It's real life. There it is. Look at all those birds. That was cool. I can't really see there's parrots flying across. At least it's shaded and a little bit cooler under here than out there. And it's five minutes better than we thought when we were originally in the parking lot. So it is shaded. There are fans and it is hot. I'm sweating right now. I was obviously carrying him around, but it is hot out right now. So the safari right, right by this fan right here is the place to be at least until these people catch up to us. Jumbo, everyone, and welcome to Kilimanjaro Safari. In order to keep your wait time to a minimum, we ask that you please keep your group together, keep up with the party in front of you, and fill in all the available space. It is not necessary to form a single file line. If you are traveling with a stroller, and someone in a scooter or some needs your party to be wrong. Once again, please keep your Oh, yeah. You're going to get the lens wet, which I think you just did. What is that sound? Wow. Thumbs up. Yeah. 
Did you give high fives? That was nice. Good job. Did you give high fives? I think so. I turned around and I saw both their hands together. In order to keep your wait time to a minimum, we ask that you please keep your feet together. Keep up. Not yet. He's still a baby. <laughs> he does a, a one off leg jump. Buddy, if you go back that way, we're going to have to start all over again. That's the beginning of the line. <laughs> yeah, go this way. There's a turtle right there. The turtle? Where's the turtle? There's a big camouflage, but he's right there. What does the lion say? That was the lowest roar. He gets like super shy. There was no Western yeah. documentation of the Okapi. A lot of people fought a little bit closer to us on the right hand side. There are some bongos yeah. uh, coming between the uh, bushes here. Here they are. Both the male and female bongos have those long spirally horns. They use them to dig around in the dirt and pull up bulbs and root seeds. Oh, those horns are so fat, sometimes crisscrossed at the ends that prevents them from getting tangled in the trees while they're running around. Oh, okay. Now we're heading into the Safi River Valley. Animals here spend most of their time in and around the water. Mouths are home to 18-inch incisor teeth. And while they can swim, they They're much the prefer water. to just sink down to the bottom of the river and walk along, and they can hold their breath for about eight minutes at a time. Enormous teeth use those teeth pretty much just for defense, mostly from large predators like these Nile crocodile. crocodile. A baobab tree. They stay leafless for about nine months out of the year, but they can hold thousands of gallons of water that the animals on the savannah will tap into and drink from. That's how they get their nickname, the tree of life. Still on the right hand side here, a couple of apartments, a mountain zebra. The mountain zebra has a dewlap, that's a flap of skin underneath their neck that helps them regulate their temperature. No other species of zebra has that dewlap. They also have a smaller pointer hooves, which allows them to navigate the rocky terrain they call home. 
It's a canine, distantly related to your canine friends at home. And it's the second most densely populated mammal after humans. There's one really close to us here on the right hand side. You can see why their name means wild beast in Afrikaans. Monkey. Males, like the ones sitting between the trees there, can weigh up to about 100 pounds. But one time people thought that they might be apes because their tails are so short, sometimes they look like they don't have tails at all. They say tail a monkey from an ape, a monkey is always a male. Yeah, real, it is the largest land animal. Fully grown adult males can reach 13,000 pounds. We can tell that this is an African water to protect their sensitive skin from the sun. Good job. I'm hoping we're going to get a pretty good look down here. I think she's where we'll be able to see her. As far up as possible here. Here we go. She's only about six months old. Oh, wow, she's splashing. Look at the baby. She's the baby. Oh, she's so cute. These guys are the largest and lightest pink of all species of flamingo. They get their color from the beta carotene in their diet. Our ship born fluffy and gray, as you can see. It takes them about a year and a half to get that full pink color, like their parents have. These guys are filter feeders. I mean, they've got these really cool structures on the inside of their beaks that help them filter all of that yummy wine shrimp. It's a muddy layer of sunscreen. That layer can also help protect them from bugs and pests, as well as keeping them nice and cool on hot, sunny days. Up, up on the edge of the Kobe there, looks like a lion. Uh, lions are some of the largest predators out on the savannah. The other group's called a pride. Oh, right one the male hill. and several female lionesses. The lionesses will go at night and hunt while the male stays back to protect the pride. Look at him. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. See, she's got those long, powerful legs. They are built for running. They are becoming popular locally as livestock because they are small, easy to care for, provide a lot of nutritious dairy for their size. That makes them a great alternative to larger livestock like cattle. Shake up a lot of space and that should be pretty bad for the environment. You can see these guys have cute round bellies. That's because they're what we call ruminants. Unfortunately, it does look like our safari is coming to an end as we reach the outskirts of the village. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out with me today. Again, my name is Ben Becca M. from Massachusetts. If you guys are looking for other animal encounters, Girl Falls is a walking trail just outside the exit to this attraction. We've got views of gorillas, underwater hippo even. Yeah. Gorillas are fighting up there. Oh, this is awesome. Wow. We just came out to a whole beef right here. That was Yeah, they were just chasing. That was each other unprecedented. And that was crazy. What do you think about that, bud? We didn't get to see them the last time me and him came here. Oh, no? And now we see them fighting. Yeah. So this is Gorilla Falls, and this fight is scheduled for one fall, I guess. But that's one fall. So there you go. There's a fight going on behind those rocks right now.
All right. That was no, we just watched the gorilla fight. Yeah. You're already there, awesome job. We're gonna go to page 16, sweetie. Ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, so you haven't been through here before. No. This is Gorilla Falls. So we got like a a better advantage of what we just kind of seen uh, okay. on the yeah uh, you know, on the uh, ride there yeah yeah where you can kind of get up close to the cages and they have most of the animals that they have inside of here this is kind of new i just yeah. discovered this the last time i was here so look at What are those moles? Is that what they are? It's cool, they have all like a whole tunnel system inside of here. Right there. Right there. Cool. This is where all the birds are. Look over your head. Look up there. I don't see it. I see this one. I yeah. Yeah, so in a way you can see it. Oh, my They're actually almost about, I want to say they're about the same size as the blue belly roller. So many of them. Yeah, there's right? a ton of them inside of there. It's there's crazy. A lot. So many fish. So they're not entirely inside this water. This is just a cage. That's why oh. there's so many like concentrator right here. It's not this whole waterfall thing right here that's filled with them. It's just this there's a cage right here. You can see it. Yeah. But it's cool. I like that little spot. Yeah, I like those blue ones with the stripes. Those are really nice. Hi, Doug. Quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. So this one actually isn't a cage. Oh, there's something in there. It's is that a hippo? Yeah. Yeah, it does kind of look like a hippo. There's a hippo back there, yeah. The is hippo. it a real hippo? It oh, is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a manatee. Oh. I get the hippo. Yeah, it's a manatee. Yeah. Like they're like eating something off oh, of the Oh, they're eating the uh, kelp or whatever it is that grows on them. It is a, it is a hippo. Oh, it is a hippo. Yeah, yeah I didn't think it was. Hurry, hurry. He, he just put his head up and then stuck it back down. Like I was saying, I thought the manatees would be over in Epcot where the manatees actually are. That is a hippo. So I was it is. expecting yeah, it I thought to be a hippo. Yeah. And then like my brain just like totally tricked me. Like I knew it was a hippo because I knew we were going to the hippo exhibit. Way bigger hand than you, buddy. Look at it. He's eating. Say hi. Say hi.
Dinosaur Walk. Dino Boy. Dino Boy. Dino Boy. He doesn't like bucket hats. He's not about the bucket hat. He doesn't, he doesn't want me making him look goofy. <laughs> he likes looking cool. All right, there you go. Yeah. You can hear it, right? That's it. The drums. Try it. Bubbles. Bubbles. He loves running through bubbles. So any bubble surprise like that is to our advantage. It puts a smile on his face. We're dying. <laughs> Mommy's dying. We we usually set ourselves up for three attractions in the park. We get through a half a day. Is about three attractions, especially in this park. We have our third attraction. We did the we did the uh, the safari. ride along safari. We did the walk through safari. We saw a couple of little things in here, and we're gonna go to the other walk through safari, the jungle track, and then we're going to get out of here. I haven't been on this jungle track in a little while. This, I, have, I probably haven't been on this since the first time I came to Animal Kingdom with Christy. So yeah, that's, that's probably about 10 years ago at this point. So, and this is definitely his first time. So that's always cool. I think we're... There's bats up there. Look at that. Oh, those bats. Those bats, buddy? See them? Look up. I'm guessing this is where the monkeys would be, but it is probably just too hot for them to be out like this today. Uh, which is another reason why we're gonna get out of here. We're not gonna do any thrill rides. We can't go any big rides with him. We kind of just come to see the animals, which is something that we wouldn't normally do if it was just me and Christy or me, Christy, and our friends and things like that when we came here. So we like taking advantage of the times that we, you know, we wouldn't have done this stuff. So this is a cool little spot. We yeah. haven't been in this area since about 2013. Yeah. I'm starting to remember this because of this little area right here. Yeah. It's, it's very well themed. I, I do love this area for the theming. I just don't frequent the Animal Kingdom a lot because it yeah. is really hot. There's a lot of is, walking. Yeah. <laughs> There's just a lot going on, but it is cool for the kids. So yeah. we will definitely be absorbing all these things inside of Animal Kingdom while we have a child. Yeah. Which will be for the rest of our lives. <laughs> well, until he's an adult and then, you know, decides that what we like is not cool or something. He'll always love this. Well, yeah. I got the right idea. Going swimming. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to have to do for the rest of the day is go swimming. Go home and have a pool afternoon. What's in here? Oh. Uh, I guess it would have been, uh, it might have been where the tigers are, but I'm seeing elephants there, so. I guess there were Asian elephants inside of here. But everybody's inside. Wow. Well. Yeah. Red eyes. They do have red eyes. That's awesome. That's wild I've been shatted on by a bird or two well, in my life. <laughs> well, I guess that's why you have all the luck in this relationship. I guess so. Look at these guys. The birds are definitely out in Animal Kingdom. 
It's nice and cool inside of here. It's definitely nicely shaded. I like these guys' colors down there back. Yeah, they're like peacock colors. It's cool. They're all over, they're just hiding in the trees down there. Very, very cool little area of the animal kingdom. Cool. Little bird sanctuary. He likes birds. He likes to chase the birds, so I didn't put him down because yeah. I didn't want him to make them all. Yeah, he probably would have been all over there and gotten us banned from Disney. Probably. And a monkey right there. Is that a monkey? Oh, uh, he's going back inside. He came out to say goodbye to you, pal. Before he went back inside, he said, hey, RJ, go bring your mom home, bring her in the pool. So we had a successful day trip at Animal Kingdom, despite it being like extremely hot out. We got to do the three things that we came here for. And now we're gonna head back to the truck, give this little man some lunch Whoa. and make our way back to the house so that he could hopefully get there in time for his nap. If not, he'll just do a short nap today and then we'll go in the pool later. We're glad you joined us, those of you that joined us. We had a great time here at the Animal Kingdom with the star of the show, RJ. And you all like seeing Christy. So, we'll say peace from the parking lot. Peace. RJ, say peace.